the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and a Song of Ice and Fire video. In this video, I want to give my thoughts about everything that has been happening behind the scenes at HBO. I will be discussing all the recent developments regarding HBO's Game of Thrones shows. As you all know, there has been a lot of new information releasing since last week. Not only did House of the Dragon start filming its second season, but we also found out HBO is developing several new shows based on George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire. All of this is obviously very exciting for us Game of Thrones fans. Now, the first thing we heard was HBO might be developing a new Game of Thrones show about Aegon, the very first king of the Targaryen dynasty. He's where all the other Aegons in A Song of Ice and Fire get their name. For those of you who don't know, this show would focus on Aegon and his sister wives Visenya and Rhaenys as they conquered Westeros from the backs of their dragons. Now, shortly after this, only a few days later, we found out HBO made a full series order for a show about the adventures of Duncan Egg. That means the first season has already been given a green light. The new show will follow Dunk, who was the future Lord Commander of the Kingsguard, Sir Duncan the Tall, and Egg, who was the future King Aegon Targaryen, roughly 90 years before the events in A Game of Thrones. Now, ever since we found out HBO is making all these other shows, fans have been wondering what this means for Jon Snow. As you all know, George R. R. Martin confirmed HBO was also developing a series about Jon Snow. This would be the first sequel series HBO is making. Now, this show would actually follow the events of what happens after Game of Thrones ended. We would see what is happening in Westeros after Daenerys died, Bran became king, Arya sailed west, and Jon Snow was exiled north of the Wall. And I gotta be honest, I'm still very interested in the show. In fact, I might want to see this show more than a new series about Aegon or Duncan Egg. Now, don't get me wrong, I would love watching all those shows as well. I'm very happy HBO is still adapting A Song of Ice and Fire, however, we already have a good idea of how those shows will end. What has me very excited about a series about Jon Snow is the unknown. We don't know what would happen in a show like that. I also still believe it would give HBO the most success as well. Any show directly connected to Game of Thrones and those original characters will be a home run for the network. That's what we all know best, and that's what we fell in love with the most. It wouldn't only have to focus on Jon Snow either. As we all know, there are still a lot of our favorite characters alive in Westeros. Sansa's leading the North, Arya is sailing west of Westeros, Yara is in the Iron Islands, and Bran, Sam, Gilly, Davos, Brienne, Tyrion, and many others are still living in King's Landing. We very well could see all of them show up in a series about Jon Snow. And let's not forget, Kenvara is still out there as well. There's a lot of fans still hoping she will resurrect Daenerys after Drogon brings her body to Volantis. Now, I know it might be very hard to get all these actors to sign back up on for another Game of Thrones show, however, a lot of them already said they would. The actors known as Arya, Samwell, and Brienne already said they would love to revisit Westeros again. I mean, hell, even Amelia had fun with the idea of Daenerys coming back. I think just about all of them would join the show if HBO threw a big enough bag of money at them. One of the first things that leads me to believe HBO is still making the Jon Snow series is based on what George R. R. Martin said himself. During his own announcement about the Duncan Egg show, George R. R. Martin said, I see all these stories on the internet about other spinoffs being killed or abandoned. I have no idea where they get this stuff, and it just makes me shake my head. The Nymeria show is still in development, and so is the Sea Snake show. We just had a great week on that one, working with the writers, and there's other shows still getting made, both live action and animated. In this update, he had already discussed House of the Dragon, Duncan Egg, Nymeria, and the Sea Snake. So when he says HBO is still making other live action shows, he's referring to something else. Now, one option might be the new series about Aegon, but another option could be the series about Jon Snow. Remember, it was actually George R. R. Martin who confirmed all the information about the Jon Snow series about six months ago. He was actually the one who let us know Kit Harington was working directly with his own writers and directors at HBO. So I do think it is safe to assume they are still making this show since no one has said otherwise. Now, the best evidence is actually from Entertainment Weekly, who has a direct source inside HBO. They've actually had a great relationship with HBO and Game of Thrones since the early days of the show. They're always the ones who get the exclusive behind-the-scenes access whenever they're making a new season. 
Now, when they broke the news about the full series order for Dunkin' Egg, they also revealed the Jon Snow show is very close to getting a full series order of its own. This is what they actually said after discussing it with their HBO source. They said, A number of other Game of Thrones related shows are in contention for a full series order, including a Sea Snake show and the Kit Harrington led Jon Snow spinoff. A series about Aegon Targaryen and the conquering of Westeros was reportedly discussed, but sources clarified to Entertainment Weekly that it's not happening at this time. As you can see, their sources say HBO is not making a show about Aegon right now. However, the Jon Snow series is still in contention for a full series order. That means we might be finding out it's getting a green light very soon. Now, as I've always said before, since I first heard about the news about six months ago, I think this would be HBO's best option. The Jon Snow show would be a massive success for the network. It would immediately bring back every single Game of Thrones fan because it would open up new options for a different ending to the show. If the Jon Snow show begins right where we left off, after he was sent north of the wall, then Game of Thrones isn't over. We have not seen the ending if they're still writing what happens in the Jon Snow series. Now, they may never say it's Game of Thrones Season 9, but that's exactly what it would be, if we're starting right where we left off with all the same characters and storylines. And that sounds like it's exactly what they want to do. I mean, Kit Harington did say so himself during the fan convention. He said he wants to see how Jon Snow was affected with the fallout of stabbing Daenerys Targaryen and having to live his life back north of the Wall. He wants to see how everything affected his character. I know I'm not the only one who's very interested in seeing what would happen next. HBO, if you're listening, do us fans a favor and get it done. We need a better ending than what Dan and Dave gave us. We all know the internet would definitely break if you released a statement announcing Game of Thrones was coming back. The fans are waiting. Let me know what all of you think about this down below. Do you still think we're getting the Jon Snow show, or do you think it will never happen? I want to know what everyone thinks about this. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching the video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.